Hi everybody and welcome to Pathways Evening 2021 for our amazing Year 9 students. Um, before I get into a little bit about what the evening's about, I have to say thank you to all of the Year 9 students and families uh, because honestly the last couple of weeks has been superb to see them back. I teach Year 9 history myself and genuinely the group that I've got is full of the most terrific characters, really, really intelligent and actually really curious about history and how that can take them further forward. Um, when I was preparing my speech for tonight, I just had to think back and thought, right, what did I do for my GCSEs? And of course I did all my English and maths and science and I grew up in mid Wales, so I also did Welsh language and Welsh literature as well. But I remember I had to choose geography, history, and um, I chose French as well. Um, and geography and history, and they've been an amazing part of my life. Okay, and actually, I think that what you choose tonight and what you decide to do with that, it's, it's, it's very much about your interests and it's about what will really give you the best opportunities to enjoy yourselves, to have fun, to really be curious about your learning in the coming years and beyond. Because when you're learning the, what's going on in the curriculum, it is about what inspires you. It's about what really makes you curious about the world. It's no, um, it's no coincidence that I do a lot of these particular videos with a world map behind me because I'm fascinated about the world and you'll be fascinated about different things, be it um, a piece of art, be it how something is made, be it um, how people perform on a stage, be it about the teamwork that people um, have to, uh, and the effort that people have to put into their BTEC sport. That's amazing. And actually that's what you are going to be looking at this evening. So look, what is tonight about, okay? Tonight is a chance for you to talk to your teachers, to be able to understand where your strengths are, where your areas for development are, and actually understand what that next stage will look like when it comes to year 10 and year 11. It's about you thinking about, okay, I've chosen four subjects last year, which is the one that I'm not going to continue with, okay? Now I'm hoping that all of you are going to be in a really, really tricky position and you're going to be really battling hard with which one that you're not going to continue with. But actually, even if you do, do drop one, you are going to then be able to read about it. It can be part of your life anyway. Okay. So yes, you have to make that decision tonight. Talk with your teachers about what Key Stage 4 courses hold. Talk with your teachers about the careers that they might be able to bring. Okay, talk about the opportunities, talk about the thought processes, talk about those wider skills, that wider subset of skills that really that subject gives you. That's important. Okay. Now, look, year nine. All right. What I want you to be able to be is happy. I want you to be absolutely having the most fierce pride in your school. And actually choosing the right topics here is an important part of that and feeling supported throughout that is vital. I'm going to hand over to Mr. Souk now who's going to tell you a little bit more about how the process will work. Have a really good evening. Good evening. It's a real shame that I can't present to you in person. However, as a school, we will do our best to keep you informed so that it doesn't hinder your child's experience in any way. Throughout this year, your child has been experiencing a transition year in terms of the subjects they are studying. In year eight, they were asked to offer four subjects, which they, they have been studying alongside the core subjects of English, Maths, Science, PE and RS. For most students, this will not be a difficult process, as they will know which subjects they want to continue with. For others, it may be a more difficult decision. Either way, there is nothing to worry about. The process isn't drawn to a conclusion until later this month. No decisions need to be made tonight. Tonight aims to highlight the Learning Pathways process this year. And hopefully it will help you as parents and carers have discussions with your child about the Learning Pathways process and the subjects they study in years 10 and 11. It may even raise more questions than answers, and that is perfectly fine. Over the years at Chilton Trinity School, we want our students to experience a curriculum that it enables them to do the things highlighted on the screen. This will continue in years 10 and 11. However, over the next few weeks, 
we will be asking your child to choose the subjects they enjoy the most and are motivated to do their best in. Years 10 and 11 are known as Key Stage 4. Last week, your son and da or daughter was given a Learning Pathways booklet. In there, expl it explains the Learning Pathways process, and it includes details about the courses that are available for your child to study and gain qualifications in throughout years 10 and 11. The majority of students will choose three of the four optional subjects that they are currently studying. Before they do this, there are some things to consider. The first being the type of qualification which they will be studying. Now there are two types of qualifications available. There's the GCSEs, but there's also technical qualifications, which have a more vocational focus within the specification. GCSEs are graded from nine to one. This replaced the traditional A star to G grades a few years ago. Most GCSEs have the assessment taking place at the end of the course, in what is called a terminal exam. And very few of them have coursework linked to them, with the exception of design, technology, drama, art, and photography. Here is the comparison of the old GCSE grades to the newer grading system. As you can see, a grade four is roughly the equivalent of a C, and the grades eight and nine are the equivalent of the old A star. The technical qualifications that we offer are digital information technology, sport, music, health and social care, and food and catering. They are recognised by colleges and employers and universities as on a par with GCSEs, and they are equally as demanding, just with a focus on a real life, practical and technical skills. The technical awards all have a large element of coursework. Therefore, students will need to be able to meet deadlines as assessment is ongoing and starts at the very start of the course in the majority of these subjects. All of them have an external exam. This isn't always sat at the end of the course like GCSEs. The grade that is received at the end is usually within the categories distinction, merit or pass. All students in England are expected to study English, Maths, Science, PE and RS, and these are known as the core subjects. Alongside this, at least one other EBAC subject of History, Geography, a Modern Language, Computer Science or Triple Science. And then at least one subject from the Open Bucket subjects of Art, Drama, Digital Information Technology, Design Technology, Food and Catering, health and social care, music or sport. So from what the student has already chosen in year eight, where they chose four subjects, it needs to be narrowed down to three, so that enough time can be dedicated to the courses that they study as a level two qualification. There's a group of qualifications called the English Baccalaureate. Some colleges and universities might look on a student favorably if they have met the requirements of this. If your child wants to fulfil the English Baccalaureate, they must study the subjects identified, which are the core subjects of English, Math, Science, History or Geography and a Modern Language. This means they will only get to study one other subject. As a school, we don't insist that the English Baccalaureate is followed by all students, as we, we appreciate that this wouldn't be relevant or suitable for all. Here are the choices available to your child. They need three in total, and usually that'll be one from one of the boxes and two from the other. In the blue box, you have a choice of up to two subjects from history, geography, French, Spanish, computing, and triple science. From the yellow box, it is up to two from art, drama, design technology, food and catering, health and social care, music, photography, and sport. You may have noticed that triple science was part of the blue box. This wasn't an option in year eight. If your son or daughter intend, ten, intends to follow triple science in years 10 and 11, please be aware that this is delivered in the option blocks. Therefore, in year 10, they will need to choose triple science plus two other subjects, not three. 
In the booklet, it has all you need to know regarding the different courses on offer. It is vital that you look through this with your son or daughter and look at the content of each course, how it will be assessed, and if it is something they would like to continue studying, having had a taste of it for a year. The things that I have asked them to consider include how they've performed this year in their subjects, which courses will give them the best opportunity of the best grades, as this will open doorways for them in the future, and which subjects they have enjoyed the most, as they are more likely to work hard on them. I'm sure you're all aware that all students must stay in some form of education until they are at least 18. This doesn't have to be in a school. It could be at a college or a sixth form, as part of an apprenticeship, or even in part-time education. Also, you need to be aware of the importance of English and maths. If a good grade isn't attained, then students will study these post-16. So it's in everyone's interest to work really hard in these subjects. Now, this is the Pathways process this year. Last Thursday, I delivered a virtual assembly to all Year 9 students with similar information to what is being shared tonight. Thursday the 18th of March is the Year 9 Virtual Parents' Evening for the option subjects, remembering that there was a Virtual Parents' Evening for English, Maths and Science just before Christmas. Please make appointments with your son or daughter's option subjects. This needs to be completed by the close of play tomorrow. Friday the 26th of March is the deadline for your option choices. This needs to be completed by accessing a Microsoft form and the link can be found in the Learning Pathways booklet and on the school website. Remember, your child is choosing to continue three out of the four subjects that were opted for in year eight, or triple science and two other subjects. If you have any questions or your child has any questions, please encourage them to ask their subject teachers, their tutor, or their heads of house. Most importantly though, read the booklet. All the information is there. It is important that I highlight this. Whilst we do our best to meet all of the requests, it is important to remember that we cannot guarantee that everyone gets all of their first choices. A course needs to have viable numbers and they do have a maximum capacity. If we can't meet the preferred choices, we will contact you and discuss other options that are available. Assume that no news is good news and you will be informed of the confirmed choices later in the summer term. Finally, some do's and don'ts when discussing choices with your child. Don't do it because their friends are doing it. Don't do it because they like the teacher. They may not have them uh, next year. Don't do it because the course is new and they don't fully understand what the course is about. Do choose a course because they are good at it and will do well. They enjoy it and find it interesting. And you and they believe that it will help them with their future career. Regardless of the choices that are made, the most important thing is that they work hard and are kind. These are the most important things. If they can do this, it will set, set them up for a successful life. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to the choices coming in and communicating with you regarding the process in the near future. And remember, book yourself into the Parents' Evening for this Thursday. Thank you.